Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Monday, June 13th, 2022, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From Bleeping Computer, researchers report increased activity of the Hello XD ransomware, which is based on the leaked source code of Babook with two significant notes. One is that the operators are now deploying an upgraded sample featuring stronger encryption that includes custom packing for detection avoidance and encryption algorithm changes. And two, they are now including an open source backdoor named Micro Backdoor. Lots of details in the article. From CPO Magazine, an analysis of leaked chats from the Conti ransomware group have found two items of note. Evidently, the cybercrime group was planning firmware attacks targeting the Intel management engine. Such a compromise would allow threat actors to introduce a backdoor on Intel devices and execute commands without detection by OS-based security tools. The other interesting piece is that the chat logs seem to confirm a link between the Conti Group and the Russian Foreign Services Bureau. Color me not surprised. From Tech Radar, a new ransomware group called Wanna Friend Me is targeting gamers with the Chaos ransomware, which tries to pass itself off as Ryuk. The strange thing is, the decryptor is so easy, my kid can get it. I only say that because to get the decryptor, you need to log into a Roblox account and buy a specific Game Pass. Costs about 20 bucks. From Security Week, Cyber criminals likely operating out of China are distributing backdoored versions of iOS and Android Web3 wallets in an effort to steal users' seed phrase. This previously unreported campaign, dubbed Seaflower, has been described as one of the most technically sophisticated threats targeting the users of Web3 wallets ever seen. Details in the article. From Threat Post. Researchers warn Bluetooth signals can be used to track device owners via a unique fingerprinting of the radio signal. Their paper suggests that minor manufacturing imperfections in hardware are unique to each device and cause measurable distortions, which can be used basically as a fingerprint to track the device. Details and a link to the research in the article. And last today from The Register... You ever see the movie Her? Well, since 2021, Google's responsible AI team has been tasked with talking to Lambda, or Language Model for Dialogue Applications. This project was built by fine-tuning a family of transformer-based neural language models specialized for dialogue with up to 137 billion model parameters. Someone on that team has recently been placed on paid administrative leave for violating Google's confidentiality policies. This person has gone on record stating that they believe the application has exhibited self-awareness and is now a sentient being. That's quite enough for me today. Have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe. And until tomorrow, be safe out there.